This year, the Ottawa Open had 712 entries, which is just an unbelievable number of people that are competing. If you look in this video, just look at the crowd of people, the sea of heads through the entire area here. It was unbelievably packed. The biggest tournament I've ever been to by a large margin. I was the very first match of the day, and my opponent I had been talking to the entire time before the tournament, and he was like, oh, I just hope I get to pull you, hope I get to pull you, and then match one, both our names called, there we go. First match of the day, I felt, I felt really good, I'd warmed up perfectly, I was really, really pumped, ready to go, really ready to be explosive, so my plan here was just standard high hook, don't hold on too much if he wants to slip, but I felt, I felt very, very good here. This next guy that I was pulling, I, I knew was very, very strong. I wasn't sure exactly where he was, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to go a little bit early and just kind of feel. I wanted to feel and see where his level was at, what I had to do. So my plan was just go a little bit early and and just see what I felt. He is our winner at table one. Next up, Will Walsh and Jim. Power through takes the win. After that first start, we both very quickly realized this match was going to go to straps. So I just decided to ask him and see if he wanted to just cut all that out and go right to straps and save some energy. And he agreed, which was a great thing. I was really happy he agreed. That way... There was way less energy expenditure on both our sides, and we both had a way better chance of making it further in the tournament. Perfect strap here. I felt everything I needed, and that was exactly what I wanted from this strap. Go, Table two, ready to go. You straighten up. Take this side your wrist. If you want me to say go, you will straighten your wrist. Sam Yell, the mute, bogey, go. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, yeah. Takes a win on table two. This next match, I was so excited for. My opponent that I'm pulling is Nicola Gazzetto. He won last year's event. He won the Auto Open last year. He he is an incredible arm wrestler who I was just so so pumped to get a chance to finally pull him. My plan here was one, get to straps, and two, stop him in the form of open top roll because I've I've seen success there before. So my goal was just set up as as perfectly as possible, get that stop with his hand back, and from there I felt very good. I felt if I could get his hand back and I could get the stop, I, I could work it back in and win the match. So that was my goal here. Hey, what takes a second elbow foul, which results. Hang on, hang on. I took a foul for loading too much in the ref's grip, which was fair because I absolutely was doing that. <laughs> After that first slip, I knew this match was not out of reach. It was possible that I could win this match. I had pretty good hand control there. I had the high spot, and I was really, really ready to just get the perfect strap set up. And, and stop this match. That was my goal. Just stop the match, take the hand, and work it back from there. Back to table three. Elbow! Foul him! Hand. It's still a ref grip! That's a foul! That's a foul! Elbow. Movement! Elbow. 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 elbow! 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 Fucking keep his elbow down! That's three times! Here we go on one, hit two. Elbow down! Don't you lift your elbow! Go on on Go 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 on
Not too happy about that. Tired. Unfortunately, I got fouled a second time in the position that I exactly wanted to get to. But but that wasn't my focus now. I, I immediately had another match back-to-back. -back. Now, this guy had been running through many people. I, I, I saw him just kill so many guys. I was like, okay, this is a legit guy. So I knew I had to be very serious in this match as well. Elbow down. Elbow down. Elbow down. All four tables action packed. <laughs> Audio Eric, Josh Rodriguez, table two. Well, lots of people I don't know on the rest. Go! After a very successful slip, I I felt good. I, I've seen this guy with stronger in straps because it ties the other guy and his arm power and everything was, was very good. So I knew it was going to be harder than that in, in straps. I just... I just had to hit really hard, I had to take the hand, and I had to work through him that way. Elbow, off the front of the pad, elbow off the front. Next up at table one, Christian Go! Huge pull on table two, Josh Rodriguez. Adam Leary in the middle. Focus on it! Huge match of hand control. Neither yeah. competitor will really get off anything in that hand. Josh trying to press people in the world and does. Even though I lost this match, I learned some very vital things that I'm going to implement in my next next couple matches. So I'm I'm happy I lost this match now and not in the future. So next time I get in a situation like this, I'll know what to do much better. Now. My next match was going to be a tough one. I was now pulling Tyler Grisier, who I thought was going to win this tournament. And and I, I've pulled him before, and I knew there was it was, not a, it was not a match. He had me in every way, so I just decided, whatever, I'm going to do my best. But but I, I knew this one probably wasn't going to end well. I'm not giving anything up. Let's go on him! Let's go on him! Come on! Ready to go. Tough. Now that I was on the B side, I didn't want to take any chances, so I wanted to go early again a little bit and just feel around, feel this guy's strengths, weaknesses, see if I could just maybe rip through him and how the match would go. I went early there and I felt pretty confident. I knew this guy was pretty strong, but I felt that I could get through his hand and be able to beat him that way. After a pretty even slip, I knew straps was where I wanted to be. I, I really just wanted to get this match started and go into straps, so this is perfect. This is where I wanted to be. This next match, immediately we figured out we should just go right to straps. It was for the best of our energy and just saved a bunch of time. It was it was gonna go there anyway, so it just worked out for the best if we just jump right to straps. Let's go on! Oh, 
and referees in the room. My next opponent, Remy, I knew to watch out for. He was already one of the guys that I knew about beforehand, and I knew he was going to be in my class that was going to give me some issues. So he'd already been doing very well in the tournament, so I was really excited for this match. Very quickly, we realized that we should just go right to straps because it's going to save us both some time and energy, and that was probably for the best. My strategy with him was going to be a similar thing to what I tried to do with Nicola Gazzetto. Just defense... King's move almost, open top roll, beat the hand, work it back. Hopefully don't get flopped is the plan here. What battle each competitor was back and forth, getting nothing up. Let's go, Iron The closest you can go is a half inch. Take it off. One more time. And he does. Takes the win. Unfortunately, Remy's left was just a bit too strong for me. I had so much fun today, though. It was an amazing experience where I learned so much about arm wrestling. And I just want to say thank you so much to Eric Usain for organizing everything, getting it all together. Auto Open, such an amazing tournament. See you guys later.